Here we are at the National Shell Museum in Sanibel Island in the state of Florida. And we're very, very, very lucky because we have today an expert that's going to discuss a little bit about another aspect of how to see global warming and the degradation it has on the overall environment worldwide. There's creatures that are from the top of the coldest mountains in the world to the lowest, deepest parts of the sea called mullus. And these are shells. As all of you know, shells originate as animals. And she's going to discuss with us now exactly what's happening with these mollusks. So welcome. Today. Well, thank you. So nice thank to you. See you. It's nice to be here. I'm holding shells. Thank you. I'll, I'll hold some shells. Here, you can you. hold some shells too. <laughs> we can discuss this a little bit. <laughs> well, thanks for coming. Um, we have, there are many, many different mollusks on Earth, and as you said, they're everywhere from the deserts to the deepest of oceans. There are more mollusks than any other kind of animal except insects, so and I actually like mollusks a lot better than insects. Yes, me too. <laughs> <laughs> but they are increasingly endangered. So many of the uh, marine mollusks um, we haven't even named yet. We are finding new species all the time, um, and with uh, climate change and ocean acidification, um, their shells are primarily made out of calcium. When you think about it as we have ocean acidification, that calcium is um, basically being dissolved. And it's not, uh, it's not affecting animals such as this, which are quite large, but there are many, many mollusks um, that are free-floating in the oceans and um, almost microscopic uh, that are an incredibly important part of the food web. And more research is occurring every day that shows that they are actually losing their shells, that their shells are being dissolved as the oceans change. So if this was happening to a larger shell like this, explain where it would start, the degradation from the acid that's in the ocean. Would it start? You know, I, I, I don't know. That's something that scientists are just researching. Um, my guess is the degradation would take place over the entire shell. Okay. Um, what affects the shell uh, most would be the mantle of the animal is right here. It can only grow the new shell from the edge. Uh, but when you think about it, if you um, stuck this in an acid solution, the entire shell would start to dissolve. Hmm. So. That's amazing. So if we keep on the track we're on at this point, obviously these shells won't exist. It's, it's these might, but many of them won't. Um, we think we are losing um, the marine mollusks faster than we can name them. Hmm. And uh, it's important for our food web as well. When you think about uh, we are also losing freshwater mussels and clams and the kinds of animals that we eat on a regular basis. Um, we're losing them one by one and as we lose coral reefs, part of the, um, many of the uh, food webs in the coral reefs involve mollusks as well and as we, um, ocean warming in particular affects them, um, we have no idea right now of knowing in the future what will or won't exist um, based on little guys. Well, with those hard shells, they'll probably survive longer than us, I would say. Well, some of, them <laughs> some of them will, some of them won't. Um, but when you think about it, a lot of people talk about, you know, whales and dolphins and sort of the, they call them the charismatic metafauna. But if you don't protect, if you don't start with the smallest part of the food web and protect that, um, it just keeps ballooning from there. And, um, you know, you, you won't have your dolphins and your whales and the things that people think about more often if you don't also start with the teeny tiny little things in the ocean and protect them as well. You're absolutely right. Well, thank you for spending oh, the time welcome. with us today. Thank you so much. Be well. Mm -hmm. As we hear once again, you know, we better put the brakes on and back up. But slowly but surely, we're destroying the very planet that we all live on. Thanks for listening.